Alright, so today I'm going to be battling my very own Shogun Achilles with he got a bit of a change up with the chip core. Now he but he still has basically the exact same combo. And I am thinking about putting him up against either Cursed Satoon or putting him up against Helios. Because, you know, Helios is the only other balance site. Which, I may know will be interesting. I'm going to be using the Black Sparking Launcher for my Shogun Achilles. And, uh, first to ten? Yeah, I'll do first to ten. Uh, it'll be interesting. See who will win and all. After every two battles, I'll be changing up the mode for Helios. Because I think Helios definitely needs the mode change. Just to figure out which mode does better. But first mode, it will be in defense mode. And Shogun Achilles is in stamina mode. <laughs> Interesting hits. We have a spin finish for Shogun Achilles. I'm going to keep them in the same modes. After every two battles, I'll be changing up their modes. Go shoot! And that's a snipe. That was actually pretty interesting. Attack. And no damage on either of them, but I'll be changing up Helios' um, mode now. I will be changing Helios to attack mode. That way. No, I can have it like that. And I'm getting my Tempest Dragon soon, thankfully. And I am planning on actually making a custom either Bushin Ashindra upgrade out of the extra curse that comes in there. Either Bushin Ashindra upgrade... Or a quad Quetzalcoatl upgrade. So, not now that Achilles is in defense mode and Helios is in attack mode, let's do this. And my, my dragon launcher is slightly modified because some parts broke, so I replaced them. Double ring out. Interesting. Okay, that was actually pretty nice. That was pretty nice. This is like the only good arena I have. As of right now. Oh! Whoa. That, that was actually some pretty good hits. Helios, Helios is drifting around the arena. That's actually interesting. Using its tip. And Achilles still takes it. So it is three... You know what? I'll just keep battling. Until I've done like five switches. Oh yeah, it's been two battles. Now I need to change up Helios to defense mode again. So, so far they're... Um... I believe it's three to one. No, no, three to zero. Go shoot! Because he's in attack mode now. I was trying to say good luck, Helios. But, uh. Guess Helios didn't really get to hear that. Achilles, when it gets into attack mode, it just smash attacks. Achilles is wasting its stamina. Oh no. Come on, Achilles. Make hits. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
Night. Oh, come on. Ooh, survivor finish for Achilles. All right, looks like I'm going to be switching up Helios back to damn, uh, attack mode, actually. I mean, so it's five to zero. Yeah, five to zero. Okay, so Achilles is moving back to stamina mode. Oh, that, that's embarrassing. I feel bad for Helios. I really do, because, you know. Oh, there we go. Helios got, Helios got their first point. Oh, nice. Okay, and that was from a ring out. Shogun's a chonky Beyblade, so I'm surprised Helios was able to ring him, ring be rung out, or ring out Achilles. And I've been hearing about the news leaks and that uh, Iger is supposed to be coming back, or Iga, Iga Akabane. And uh, I'm actually kind of excited for that because, you know, new Achilles. And next week, apparently, we're supposed to be getting all the information on the next Achilles. I mean, I'm still going to have, you know, Shogun uh, as a Beyblade option, but, you know. Eh. Oh, that's a spin finish. Okay, that's impressive. So it's six to one. That's really impressive. And I'm hopefully planning to try and get another dragon set. So that way I can, you know, take the blue 1A chassis, modify it, or, well, you know, have it so I can, you know, have bound the one in, like with the wings out and then for the other one, have it no wings out. Okay. So, oh, here we go. Whoa! Helios was sent flying out of the actual arena. Um, not just like into the pocket, but out of the entire arena. Oh, that's impressive. That is an impressive counterattack from Achilles. I never could have expected that to come out of that. Um... They're both in defense mode. Up, and it's 7 2. 7 2. Oh, wait, now they're gonna be both in attack mode. Oh, no. And, um, I'm gonna try to save up for some Death and Abyss Devilos random boosters and Di Diablo. Diablos? Yeah, random boosters. Yeah. The Willows have random boosters. Um, also, very loose is kind of OP if you understand how to control it because you need to, if you want to do like battles on your own with it, you need to launch it second, even if it's a right or left, because then if it grinds on its edge and then hits the opponent, if you launch hard, it can go right to the center if it hits the opponent on the outer edge because it'll be sent flying back to the center. Just a little trick. And if you're going up against in a 1v1, like with your friends, then yeah, I recommend still trying to go for that trick. Try and, like, get them on the outer edge and then get to the center with a hard launch. Because then you have a good, decent, you have a good amount of stamina. And your bar my barrier is actually kind of, um, Interesting because it goes out further than I've seen most people's barriers go out. Um. Either that or it's just my launch. Oh, there goes Shogun. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll do one battle with Lucifer. I'll do one battle with Lucifer up against. Um, let's put him up against Rage. I already did my battle between my Rage and my Lucifer off camera, but Lucifer ended up destroying Rage with a burst finish. If you can understand how to control it properly, it's good. It is good. And also, I've heard about the news leaks about the fact that we're not. We might not be getting as much as we expected. And it might be like a dry sort of year. 
so I'm thinking it might not be the last season. This might not be the last season. But it's this is a leak and not 100% confirmed, but we could be getting an evolution of Lucifer. Which, I mean, we already know we're probably getting an, another evolution of Lucifer because of the fact that he's a villain, Bay. Lane is a villain. Or lean, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I really feel, and then there's apparently supposed to be an arena set, all in one set, or whatever, which I feel like is probably going to be the customized set, or quote unquote customized set. But I feel like that's definitely going to have Helios and Hercules evolutions. I feel like they're either going to be called Thundering Helios. Or Blizzard Helios, and then I just I just think that um Inferno Hyperion would sound amazing for it. Either that or Sparking Helios and Sparking Hyperion at this point, cause and then Sparking Lucifer. I I would make it would be like Sparking Dash One, Sparking Dash Two, Sparking Dash Three for the Super Rings. I feel like that's how it could work, in my opinion. But um. Surprising apparently is supposed to be coming out in a random booster. And, uh, I'm not too excited about that. It's gonna be a pain to try and grab Surprising or Spriggan or however you want to say it. But, um, it'll be interesting to see it like that. And then apparently we're supposed to be getting one defense starter as well. And then a random booster for an attack type. I feel like that could either be, so for the defense type, I already feel like it's going to be a new phoenix. I just can tell it's going to be a new phoenix at this point. Because Phi, if, if Phi's showing up and he was such a huge character and like chose your turbo, but then they don't bring him back in Super King even though he was in the manga, that will be interesting. And even, he probably won't even have to show up in the show. He'll probably have a big role in the manga or something. And uh, that'll be interesting to see. And um, when new Achilles does come out, I will definitely be doing Shogun versus whatever the new Achilles is going to be named. I'll be, I'm going to laugh if it's called Shogun Achilles. So hard. Also, I just feel like I know everybody was smack talking Ranjaro and Ran Ranjaro Kiyama and how his Rock Tavor looks dumb or Ragnarok or whatever you want to call it. But they don't have to off him. And yes, this, this is a spoiler. It's been basically confirmed because the reason why Aiga is returning is to avenge, is basically to avenge Ranjaro because he learns that Ranjaro could have ended up in trouble. Lane's gonna break Ragnarok. I'm gonna laugh. I will laugh at Ranjaro's expense because we all bullied him so much for Chozy and then for the way his Ragnarok looked because of the color coordination and it looked dumb. And it's, it is, it's dumb, but they don't have to off him that quick. Because apparently... Hayuga and Hikaru are both supposed to be in the Legends Tournament, or Legend Festival. Even though, originally, Hayuga was the only one who was supposed to be in it. That's interesting. So, I feel like it's already been confirmed that Rock the War is just dead, or shattered, or whatever. I know I'm not trying to bring this to 15 minutes, I'm not trying to, I'm just talking about certain news... I just randomly thought about, but, um, yeah, that was some battles between Shogun and Helios, and then some news, and then showing off Lucifer a bit, but, um, I'm thinking about doing Lucifer versus Left Spins, which will be fun, so, well, camera went off like this. Lucifer versus left spins. I feel like there will probably only be one who could defeat Lucifer. That possibly being like Dusk or either Dusk or Ark or Dread 
ball cash or arc ball cash or whatever. But um, yeah, that was just thoughts and some battles. Thank you guys once again so much for watching and for all the support. It's amazing how fast we kind of grew. Thank you all once again. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your ideas on what I could do next. And uh, I will be I will be doing an unboxing of the um, three three on three set for Dragon when I get it. So uh, make sure to stay tuned.